While President Bola Ahmed Tinubu was being sworn in at Igbo Square, Abuja, there was various chaotic occurrences taking place in various entry points to the venue. As part of security measures put in place to limit the numbers of attendees, security forces blocked all accessible routes to the venue, which did not go down well with the supporters of the president. Overwhelmed with the crowd of spectators, Vazilo's security personnel began to fire tear gas at the stranded supporters. Oweleke TV crew were there. As you can see, I'm not happy. I came to this place because of the inauguration one, and I'm from Edo State. I'm not. From, I'm not even. I didn't even base here in Abuja. Yet. So for me to come from Edo State to come for the inauguration, I cannot even get access to enter, and they are still chasing me with gun or chargers. You don't. You don't. You, at least you are no. I, I will not be happy now. Thank you. I think we are okay like that. So we are together. We came from Edo State. So and if you allow everybody to be in, the, the crowd even... will be very choked. It will not be okay. So any high take we get like that. And you see the condition that everybody going through because the policemen and the, they don't allow people to enter the Eagle Square and celebrate our new president. It's too much, it's too bad. When you see the crowd now, see everywhere they are trekking. They, 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 they say they have people that are select to go to Eagle Square. It's not supposed to be there. Because Nigeria, we are all of us, we are, we have, Nigeria is a freedom to come out and celebrate with a new president. But what the people are going through now is very bad. So that I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. I, we, I, Nigeria people, we, we, we are in Nigeria. We are in Nigeria, but I'm, I'm more white. People are, they, they, people, they are, they are, they are, they are material people like this. It's not, it's not right. In a related development, some supporters of Peter B, one of the presidential candidates and major contender in the 2023 elections, have expressed disappointment over the inauguration of President Bola Ametinebo. Inauguration, you know they're happy. Quite all right, we are not happy, but, you know, they say nobody is strong to pass their government. It don't be like saying they demand somebody will be saying we don't want on us, but... As it don't be like this, we don't get anything where we go talk. We know that the OB is always win because this happened between uh, Peter OB, Tinibu, and uh, Mohamed Bohari. Mm. And the article, and the way we see all this, because the vote that I have already voted, we stand there to rain beat us, and the following day, the letter, letter. Then do this thing. But for me, you know, Senator Magomaga will be win. Will be win this election. Why they carry the team? Go give Tinubu based on say Tinubu say nine ton. Based on say he have the money. He get the money to use the money bribe any person. So, but for we, we are expecting courts to judge this matter. But I know that I have swear this man in today. But we believe that court will do the right thing. They believe that the court will do the needful to restore their mandate. You will recall that P2B did not attend the inauguration, ignoring the invitation. Meanwhile, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, Garios Galolo, has stated that former President Mamadou Buhari administration was a wasted eight years. He spoke exclusively to Oweleke TV in Abuja. I think this is uh, my happiest days because uh, the last one during the President Muhammad Buhari 215, that is the date I retired 214 and I joined the politics. And it happens uh, all the way from eight years to date. We are still where we are. But th with this one, we, know, we will move forward. You know, politics is about whom, not whom you know, who can assist another person and another person to assist somebody. Okay, now you said we are still where you are. That means you are not really satisfied with where I am President now. Buhari. Fully satisfied that with the uh, government that do I cannot, because you work for a party after working for eight years, you sub and you cannot even have a manager with pure water. How can you be happy? Politics is about what you can achieve here. It's not when you die in paradise, you have anything, you go to paradise. No, it's here. But so, you, you are an APC uh, stalwart, and um, you are not really happy with uh, uh, President Buhari, the former president. No, I am not. If I tell you, I'm happy, I'm telling you a lie. Okay. How can somebody, you work for him, and he cannot even give you a compensation of manager of a pure water? Well, to this present demonstration, I know I will be happy and there will be joy. Because I know Tunumbu would like to take a politician. 
who are politicians, who can assist somebody, who is not somebody to make him somebody. Mm. But when you carry people who are already from the community, uh, do you see ever where a minister have eight years? It is only the pastor demonstration, eight years minister. And people are sitting in the villa using cabal to governize everybody. Okay. Who want to pronounce your name, your minister, want to pronounce your name, you are not a minister. The newly installed president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, had addressed Nigerians. Amongst the five key areas that he highlighted to focus on, he said he was removing fuel subsidy immediately, as well as governing Nigerians according to the constitution and the rule of law. Tinubu has spoken. Let's watch and see. I am Omike Joseph Matthew for Weleke TV.